My choice for the best in show is the Beagle. Move aside, Portuguese Water Dogs and Sky Terriers. As you can see, this year's best in show goes to a tail wagging beagle by the name of Miss P. She's here to bask in her glory along with her handler, Will Alexander and David Fry, the co-host of the Westminster Dog Show. Everyone, thanks for joining me. Clearly a very you. exciting day for you. David, I wanna start with you. You're the pro in this. You've been doing this for a really long time and beagles almost never win. Why is that? About twice now, I don't know why that is because we can certainly see they're very deserving. This is a beautiful dog. Miss P looked great in the ring last night. She's a beautiful beagle first of all and then she's just a great little show dog and it was fun for all of us. Is it more exciting for you when breeds that don't normally win win? Um, yeah, maybe to a certain extent, but because we are showing the world uh, about the dogs, uh, purebred dogs everywhere, we're, we're helping celebrate dogs in our lives, and that's what this is all about. Now, Will, clearly this is a day of celebration for you guys. She already had a steak lunch at Sardi's, I understand. What's her go-to treat, though? How do you reward a dog for winning best in show? Uh, that's hard to say, she, but she really does pro like the... I give her treats at home called the Carvers. There's a pro plan... It's a soft, meaty, the dogs just really liked them. I, that's how I trained her with Carvers, actually. So Now, let's talk about her name for a second. She goes by Miss P, but we all know these pageant dogs have like 50 names. Where did Miss P come from? Miss P came from, her real name is Peyton. Her registered name is Tash and is looking for trouble, but her real name is Peyton. And when the first time I showed her, she was six months old, and she won the Beagle class, best of breeds, from the puppy classes over all the adults, under a judge in Canada. And he stopped me and asked me all about her and asked me, what her name was, and I said, Peyton. And he went, oh, the divine Miss P. And that just stuck. There you go. David, do you have an idea ahead of time of who's gonna win? After having done this for so long, you're kind of reading the crowd, reading the judges. Do you know what's about to happen before it happens? Well, we can all look and see who the top show dogs are coming in based on their show records from the previous year. But uh, the only surprise at Westminster really would be uh, if there are no surprises. And this, uh, she's a top 10 dog and people just didn't think about her. They thought about these other dogs with big records and. And she's jumped right in there and looked great, deserved every bit of it. Yeah, she looks like a champion to me. So, Will, now what happens to you guys? Because Miss P's owners live in Canada, so do you guys still get to hang out? Does she go back well, to her owners? What happens now? Well, I live in Canada as well. I live in Toronto, and she lives in British Columbia. Right now, she's going to concentrate on motherhood. She's gonna, we're going to find a husband for her, and she's mm -hmm. going to have some babies. All right, next chapter still coming for yes. Miss P. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and congratulations to you and Miss P on the victory.